Hello again everybody and welcome back to Fuji's Blitz and I've just released a video what's currently in the store worth considering and then as soon as I upload it Wargaming release another tank the E75 TS a tier 8 heavy tank sitting in the German line so this is an additional now the E75 TS Eagle has been out before now Wargaming is selling it to you in the store for 12,500 gold which is pretty steep considering you can get some other tanks for like the Jaeger there for 5,000. This one it comes all the equipment unlocked, the Eagle camo, the legendary avatar and the garage slot or you can spend 10,000 gold and just get the tank and the slot. What's the tank actually like? Well, it's not bad. It's, uh, it's it's basically a trimmed down version of the tier 9 E75. Plays a little bit like a Tiger II stroke Louvre. Not a bad tank. It, uh, it's got some very good armor. Not a bad gun. The reload's slightly long, but then again, it's as long as a Louvre. You know, eight and a half seconds. It's a similar gun. I think it's the same gun as the Louvre. Um, I'm not sure. So, are you getting more than you can get with a Louvre? Well, yeah, you're getting trolley armor, to be fair, plus a funky looking tank. I mean, this is effectively a tier 8 E75. However, 12,500 is pretty steep, I think. And unless you're absolutely desperate to get your paws on, a, on this tank, I would suggest if you haven't got the Louvre, Spend your money on the Louvre. You're getting an equally good tank with the same reload, same gun, and similar armor. I mean, the Louvre can be trolley armor-wise at the best of times. Similar type of speed, similar type of tank. The only difference is they look different. In, in, if the truth be known, I mean, you know, there may be some more technical quantities and qualities that I'm not going into here. But, you know, I mean, if you're a new player looking at buying a premium, you're not interested in the dispersion, etc., etc. You're interested in, you know, is this tank worth me spending 12,500 gold when I can get a Louvre, which is a similar type of tank in all due respects? Should I do it? Well, I can't tell you whether to do it or not. It's in the store to 12,500. If you've got it, the, the, the gold that is, and you haven't got the tank and you've already got the Louvre, then yeah, it's worth considering. It's a good credit earner. It's a nice tank. You will have fun in it. It's good to roll out on the battlefield, to be perfectly honest with you. I mean, I enjoyed this game. I play, I play it in ratings. It's a great ratings tier 8 heavy, to be honest. Um, but for me, it's, it's pretty much the same game quality as a Louvre. As you see, good credit earner. That's nice. This replay, by the way, I'm putting in, not because I'm showing you my particularly good tank skills, because they're not. Um, I get wasted almost immediately. Um, I was playing the tank super aggressive to try and get some uh, decent footage for you to see how it acts. And, you know, it, it's not a bad tank. I mean, you, you will bounce a lot. It's got great gun depression on, like, Luluva. So, you know, there are attributes to it that are better. But the reason I'm showing you this clip is what happened. You know, I'm sat here thinking that, you know, there's quite a few red teams spotted. So maybe, just maybe, I've got some tanks with me. And I can see on the mini-map that there's a couple behind me. And I know we've got a few TDs. So I'm not too concerned. The TDs are going to help cover. Um, we've got a couple of heavies. We've got a KV-4, I think. And an IS-3 Defender. So, you know, we should, we're, we're pushing nicely, I think. Um, wow. What can I say? I, I thought wrongly. Now I've got, on the mini-map, two tanks behind me. There's a T-71, a Eek, and there's a T-54 Lightweight, Eek. T-71 died, by the way, he didn't move out of spawn, he was AFK, not his fault, it happened. I get wasted, and then guess what? Look, look at the minimap, look at the minimap. So I'm going to flick over to this. This is the Ferdinand. Look, there's an IS-3 camping. That's a Defender, by the way. There's a KV-4 camping. <laughs> That's a big heavy. There's an SU, I, I get the SU, he's a TD. But they're all here, camping. Not a single one of them moved. <laughs> I just think it's comical. And I'm only showing you this clip because it doesn't matter how good the tank is, guys. If your team is pants, you, the tank is not going to be doing a thing. 
So I'm just saying, look, this is going to be quite funny when I do my YT review because this was hilarious. I mean, I've got two massive heavy tanks, an IS-3 Defender and a KUV-4 camping at the back. <laughs> Seriously, you couldn't make this shit up. I mean, I think this is just brilliant. Anyway, this was an addition to what's in the store currently. The E75 TS Eagle. Not a bad tank. Slightly pricey at uh, 12,500 gold. But, you know, it is worth a look. I've been fooded. By all means, comment, like, and everything below. If you haven't yet, press that subscribe button. It's a nice thing to do. Puts a smile on my face and makes me happy. Um, I'd like to do a big shout out to my Patreons, who, as always, without their support, these videos would be a lot harder to make. If you've got any decent replays, send them to me, fujitsblitz at gmail.com, or post them to my Discord server. And until the next time, stay safe out there, have fun on the battlefield, and happy tanking, because that's what it's all about, having fun and being happy.